Hello everyone. Hi. Come on in the room. Come on in the room everybody. As you come in, please just let me know you're here. Say hi. Um oh this this light is bright out here. Let me put on my shades. I'm sorry. I tried to do it without my shades, but it's kind of bright out here. Say hi. Let me know where you're coming in from. Please check in. Check in, everyone. Want to see your comments. Want to see where you're checking in from. So let us know where you're located. Thank you all so much for coming on. Just drop a little comment. Let us know where you're located. I'm in Florida, the sunny state, Florida. Let me know where you are. Okay, Adabawo, hi, where are you located? Maureen from Nigeria. Hi, Ash. I just want to take a moment and give you all a shout out. Hello, Maureen. Hello, Ash Tuba from Pakistan. Thank you so much for joining us. I know the time difference is pretty significant. Roby, my realtor. Hi, Roby. <laughs> Lynn from Tennessee. Yes, Luke. Hi, Luke. Where are you located, Luke? Hey, everyone. It's so awesome to see you here, Naomi. Yes, let me know where you are located so I can give you the shout out and let everybody know where you are because we're visiting from all over the world. Luke, you're from Botswana. All right. I hope. I hope I pronounced that correctly. Everybody, it's so awesome to have you on. Can you believe it's almost the end of the year? And it's almost the end of the year and so much is going on. This year, 2021 has been unprecedented, much more than 2020. Of course, 2020, we encountered something no one in this lifetime has encountered. Cassandra from Michigan. Hi. Akua from Nigeria. Pamela from Atlantic City, New Jersey. Jersey in the house. Hey. Gannett from Haiti. Christine from Philadelphia. Esperina from Nevis. Yes. Colin, Jamaica. Yes. Wagwan, man. <laughs> That's my people. Deslin from Guyana. Thank you all so much for coming on. It's such a wonderful experience to travel this journey of refinement. And we call our movement of etiquette the movement of improvement. So thank you so much for coming on and for supporting. Kay from Botswana, Delfina, okay, from Madrid. Hola. <laughs> Annabella from Guyana. Thank you all so much. We want to talk about something that's super important. We're going into the new year, okay? God willing, we will get over the threshold and we will enter 2022. And from all that's going on, we never thought we would see 2022. It's like so crazy right now where you have to actually thank God every morning you open your eyes because it's a new day that he has granted you. D, blessings to you too. Rose from Ghana. Hi. Kin from Accra. Hello. Yes. I woke this morning and I was like, thank you, Lord, for another day. Every time he wakes you, that means there's something for you to do. He is, you're not existing just because. There's a reason. Hi, Gail from Virginia. Princess, good day from Sydney, Australia. Yes, Princess. God bless you. Gannett, Haiti, I love you. I love you all. I thank you all so much for your support. So let's talk about this. We're entering 2022. Ladies and gentlemen, we can't do things the way we used to do. We have to change up some things. We have to change one thing in particular. If you are already doing it, kudos to you. But there's so many people in our society that are not showing up for themselves. When they step out of their home, and we're talking about etiquette here, presenting yourself. I know in the title it says, people will treat you the way they perceive you. That is absolutely true. If they perceive that you do not respect yourself, honey, 
they will not respect you. Most people will follow your lead. If you show up in a disrespectful manner, they will not respect you. Let's get some examples here. So I just came out of Walmart, went in there to buy a couple of things. And this is like an everyday scenario. I came out of Walmart and in Walmart, I saw this young lady with bedroom slippers on. That is unacceptable, guys. If you are leaving your home, you should not be wearing anything that you either slept in or that you would usually just wear in the home. Bedroom slippers do not belong on the outside of your home. That's for indoor wear only. Pajama pants are not for anywhere outside of your home. So if you show up in public, in the store, if any event, anything you show up in pajama pants and bedroom slippers, and ladies, you're just wearing the camisole, the, the undershirt, that says you are not prepared for the opportunities that may be available for you available to you that's 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 a known fact if you don't show up for the opportunities you will miss them and guess what opportunities don't die they simply move on to the next person ready to take it okay so ladies and gentlemen this is paramount and it is not just young people I see many adults both male and female out in public presenting themselves in a way that says I don't care and understand that everything we do communicates something your clothes is nonverbal communication your hair whether it's maintained or not is nonverbal communication your chipped nail polish ladies is nonverbal communication chipped nail polish pretty much says that you are unkempt you do not maintain yourself and that may not be true but when you show up in public and the public is only reading your exterior they follow the lead they hear that message and so they follow and go according to that message so many times you have to accept your accept this many times you will see someone across the way and you look them up and down and determine if you want to approach them, if you want to interact with them. People do the same thing with us. So therefore, we need to step outside of our home saying with our clothes, I am ready for every opportunity available. I am a detailed oriented person. I care about myself. I respect myself. I respect the public that is super important incidentally hair bonnets should never leave your home unless it's in a bag unless it's in your purse it should not be on your head ladies hair bonnets are for sleep and for when you are home you should not step on the other side of your door wearing a hair bonnet that's unacceptable for a lady and without sounding redundant, because I've said this time and time again in the past, if you wear a hair bonnet on the outside of your home, that is essentially saying, I don't care. Take me as I am. Accept me the way I am. But newsflash, ladies and gentlemen, that's not how the world works. People don't have to accept you the way you are. However, we need people to grow. We need people to develop. We need people for promotions when on your job. You need an owner of a company to give you a job. We need people. Even if you're a business owner, an entrepreneur, you need people to collaborate with. You need people to work with. Mm -hmm. You need clients. Mm -hmm. Therefore, everything about your presentation matters. So when you step out, whether you're casual, or you're formal or you're semi-formal, make sure you understand the statement, the message that attire is sending because it sends a message. You determine what that message will be. So therefore, ladies, when, ladies and gentlemen, when you are dressing, use that mirror. Look in the front, the sides, and the back. 
make sure that panty line we're getting personal here make sure that panty line on the in your wear is flat and smooth out ladies don't be afraid to wear your Spanx because Spanx help to smooth those panty lines out. Spank helps to air, let every allow everything to flow. Okay, it doesn't matter your size, whether you're slim or your plus size or your mid size, it doesn't matter. We all wear underwears, hopefully. <laughs> so we do need to make sure that everything is smooth and there are not bumps and all kinds of. Uh, gathered up stuff in the back so look in the mirror front and back okay now those torn jeans it's okay for you to wear those fashionable jeans however the tears the rips should not be anywhere near your grown area it should not be near the crotch area because that is saying here's a little peak that's inappropriate for a lady and might I add every woman is not a lady just like every male is not a gentleman you have to decide to be a lady you have to decide to be a gentleman and begin to demonstrate those gentlemen and ladylike behavior so ladies and gentlemen take pride in yourself unless it's an absolute emergency you should never leave your home with wearing clothes that you only should wear in the house okay now here is something that might step on everybody's toes I'm sorry but I have to say this you know there was a time back in the day when we would get dressed and our pants or or shorts or even some of our skirts have loops and we dare not step out the house without a belt nowadays everybody Ladies and gentlemen, male and female, are wearing their pants with no belt. Listen, understand, just like I just like like I said before, everything sends a message. So when you are wearing your nice jeans or your slacks or whatever that has loops and you're not wearing a belt, that says you're not a detailed person. A belt is a detail of your outfit. Therefore, take the time, ladies and gentlemen, to grab that belt, put it through those loops, and complete your look. A belt completes your look. We don't always need a belt to keep our clothes up. That's, all, that's not always a necessity. However, we need a belt to complete our look. So no matter how cute you look, no matter how cute you feel, if your belt is missing, detailed oriented individuals such as myself will look at you and say, hmm, she looks cute but something is missing. He looks nice but something is missing. Take the time ladies and gentlemen to pay attention to the details. Your belt is a detail. Your belt mm -hmm. completes your look. We have, as ladies, we have so many different types of belts. We have such stylish belts out there that we could just put it on and look so nice. If the buckle is a problem for you, you feel the buckle is going to protrude your stomach or something, move the buckle to the side and be stylish that way. But please never leave your home looking disrespectful and showing that you don't care and never leave your home while wearing a piece of garment with loops and not wear your belt. I have to say that. It's just overwhelming and unfortunately, we're teaching our youth, we're teaching our children to look incomplete. We're teaching our children that that little detail is not necessary. It is necessary when you're trying to make a good impression when you're trying to present yourself respectfully and complete, okay? So, understand people will treat you the way they perceive you. I own a couple businesses and I tell you, without judgment, I will look at someone if they come on an interview or if I'm interacting with them and they're not wearing a belt, yes, something as simple as that, I will gather that they do not pay attention to details. And 
every business owner wants a detail-oriented person. Now, you can be the best individual in the world. You could be a genius, but your outer appearance is verbally, non-verbally telling me that you do not pay attention to detail, you do not care about your appearance in public, and you'll only get dressed when I do give you the job. Honey, it doesn't work that way. It doesn't work that way. So, as they say, fake it till you make it. If you're not used to wearing a belt, put on that belt. Fake it till you make it. Do it until it becomes natural for you. Understand, people out there are looking at you. And they want to know, what is the message you're sending? This is so very important. So as you enter 2022, ladies and gentlemen, keep that in mind. People will treat you the way they perceive you. And people will address you the way you dress. Okay? If you want to be addressed respectfully, be sure to enter society in a respectful manner. If you want those opportunities out there that are waiting for you, there are opportunities everywhere. You never know who you meet. You never know who you meet. If you want those opportunities that are there just for you, then you've got to prepare. You've got to show up for yourself and you've got to step forward. And that is great segue in. It's 2022 almost. Get into the networking mode. Don't be afraid to discuss things with people. Don't be afraid to discuss opportunities, ideas, collaboration opportunities with different business owners. It's time for us to step up because I don't know if you've noticed, life is not waiting for us. Okay? So we have to step up for ourselves. If you're an entrepreneur and you're on here, hi, Carolyn. Hi, Brad. Jennifer. Hey, Jennifer. If you're an entrepreneur and you're on here and you're not used to networking, you're afraid to talk to people, you're shy, mm -mm, that doesn't work in the business world, step out. And when you step out, understand this concept, understand this truth that you are good enough. You're good enough to have those conversations with those business owners. You're good enough to say, hey, let's do an event together. You are good enough for not only the finer things in life, but every opportunity life has for you. So entrepreneurs, business owners, perk up. It's time for you to show up for yourself. It's time for you to start grinding in any way necessary so that your business can propel into greatness and excellence. Okay? One thing you've got to remember, you are good enough for this. You deserve this. No matter what mistakes we've made in the past, we have to forgive ourselves and move forward because, hey, our God forgives us when we ask for forgiveness. So you now have to forgive yourself and move forward. I hope this is some good information. Yes, Carlene, I am good enough for every opportunity life holds for me. I need everybody here to type in the chat, I am good enough. You've got to believe that. Until you believe that, you are not going to reach for those opportunities. Until you believe that you are good enough and your self-esteem is boosted, you are not going to make yourself available for whatever life has for you. So type in it. Yes, Rokreta. Yes, Akisha. Yes, Lynn. I am good enough. Believe that and keep telling yourself that. Adenika and Tony. Yes. Agnes. Yes. TSC. Yes. K. Yes. Elsie. Yes. I am loving this. Princess, I, amen, I'm one of those ladies that I love to dress up because I feel good when I look good. All right, that's me. <laughs> Justine, oh yes, Carolyn, Tanja, TSC, Terry, oh my gosh, Nelly, you all are giving me goosebumps. Yonette, Maureen, Fumia, Fumla, all right, Petronile, Brad, Cassandra, Jennifer, Lynn, oh my gosh, you all are just awesome. Joy, yes, share this video. Share this video because so many people need to hear this message. Even though we're adults, Tessarine, yes, Ara, even though we're adults, we need that pep talk every now and then. We may be strong, but we need that pep talk every now and then. 
because we do break sometimes. I'm as strong as they come, but I break sometimes. I get, I, I kind of, I try to avoid the depression mode, but sometimes it's heavy. And the problem is so many people think, oh, she's strong. She'll get over it. That's where they're always wrong. Sometimes we need another person to help us get over it. Tell me if you understand that. Tell me if you can relate to that. Sometimes I need somebody to just say, Jackie, it's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. So understand, we've got to love ourselves. We've got to have that respect for ourselves. We've got to have that pride in ourselves to give ourselves that opportunity. Nobody is going to give it to you yourself, but, um, give it to you voluntarily. You have to be ready for it and give yourself the opportunity to earn all of these awesome things that God and life has for you. Yes, Joy, you can relate. Yes, I'm telling you. So ladies and gentlemen, it's all about etiquette. And you know, I was thinking this morning, there is no way that a person can be a part of the etiquette world the movement of improvement princess you're very welcome the movement of improvement no one can love etiquette and be unkind be mean to people be angry i'm just telling you i have changed tremendously because of me being in this industry it has changed my attitude. It has changed my life. It has changed the way I move. Etiquette, loving myself, feeling good enough for the greater things in life, and giving myself opportunities has changed me into the woman my mom reared me to be. This is what my mother wanted from, for, for me. And I'm so happy that I'm able to live that life and I'm able to impact so many individuals, children and adults. Ladies and gentlemen, once you begin to believe that you are good enough, once you begin, begin to love yourself, once you begin to step out for opportunities, guess what? God will reveal his purpose for you. He won't do it until you're ready. But every single person on this line and every single person on this earth deep down wants to know their purpose but there is no way your purpose will be revealed to you until you do you believe you deserve to be used and to live out your purpose it's not just going to idly come because mentally emotionally spiritually physically you are not ready so until you accept the fact that you are good enough to be used and you're good enough to move forward and impact other people and change people's lives and your self-esteem is up there, you're not going to walk in your purpose. So ask yourself tonight, when you lie in your bed just before your slumber, what do I need to do in order to learn my purpose? It's a new year coming. And every year is more precious than the other. Considering all that we're going through, entire world is going through. Ask yourself, what is my purpose? What do I need to do to find out what my purpose is? And of course, without saying, the only person who truly knows your purpose is God. So you got to ask him. You're not going to find out your purpose without asking your creator. That's, that's a fact. Whether you're religious or not, you didn't make yourself. Somebody made you, right? So they made you for a reason. We are all here for a reason. So find out what your purpose is so you can live that life of freedom and you can move forward and change lives. I can tell you, before I wrap up, I can tell you the, the similar and the, the essential part that's the word i'm looking for the essential part of our purpose every one of us has the same purpose you're like what are you talking about jackie our essential purpose is to serve the method of which to serve is where you've got to communicate with god to find out how my way of serving is teaching young people teaching adults how to live a life of civility how to love each other, how to be kind to each other, how to be respectful. That's all about service. 
And if you have a business and it's all about you getting, 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 and it's nothing about service, there's no philanthropical component to it, that business will not flourish. So the basic, the essential part of our purpose is service. You've got to find out from your creator how he wants you to serve. And with that little nugget, I know that you all will have quite a bit to think about. You have quite a bit to pray about because 2020 is coming around, God willing, and it's time for y'all to show up for yourself. It's time for you to show up for people. And it's time for you, if you are not already, to live that legacy that you know you were placed here to live. I'm trying to make a mark. That's why I wrote a book. My recent book. My first book, y'all. My first book transformative etiquette a guide to love and refining self my first book you all have to go over and order it pre-order the first book I'm gonna put the website in um, in the chat click on it and pre-order so you can get your signed copy your signed copy of the book transformative etiquette it's all about transforming yourself into the phenomenal and refined person you are and then of course you will hear a story uh, something that I went through for most of my life well into my adulthood that was painful but it was necessary for me to change into the person I am now transformative etiquette a guide to love and refining self so head over to my website and purchase that uh, book so that you can receive it. We have ebook. So all of you who are international, go over there and get that ebook. It's only thirteen dollars U.S. Thirteen U.S. dollars. We have the ebook at thirteen U.S. dollars. We have the paperback book for nineteen ninety nine, which can be shipped anywhere, and we have the hardback book for twenty four ninety nine. If you're not big on hardback, get the paperback. They're just as nice. But head over to that site. The book, again, the paperback book is $19.99. The hardback is $24.99. And the ebook is $13. Those of you, my friends in Africa, in Australia, all of those different places, get that ebook because you want to be transformed. The year is coming to an end. A new year is beginning. We can't go into the new year as we have uh, have been uh, in 2021, 2020. It's a new day. It's a new day. Hi, Delphinia. Uh, Sarah Lee. Yes. Okay. Yes, yeah, Sarah Lee. I hope I answered that. So check my check the chat. My website www.fromtheinsideoutsoe.com. And you will see pre-order book right there. And you'll be able to receive your signed copy plus a free gift, ladies and gentlemen. It is for male and female. It is a wonderful Christmas gift. Oh my gosh. It's a wonderful Christmas gift. You will receive it before Christmas. So make sure you go over there and order that book so you can be transformed. So you can learn so much more or be reminded of so much that we we already knew but we pushed it to the back of our minds and we are not practicing it but ladies and gentlemen again if you want to be perceived as a refined and a respectful person you have to show it you have to send that message so as i always do thank you so much for listening do we have any questions fiona thank you so much go ahead and order, order your book. Order your book because um, I want it to be a bestseller. Not because of the title, but because of the information in it. Our society needs this information. People need to be transformed into those who love each other, those who respect each other, those who care about each other, those who care about themselves. We need that cure. So ladies and gentlemen, please, Go ahead and purchase that book so you can spread the message. Matter of fact, purchase a few so you can give them for Christmas gifts. That's the best thing you can do right now in this society with this generation and the previous generation. We need to cure. 
So remember, don't leave your belt the next time you get dressed. <laughs> Wear that belt. So do we have any etiquette questions? Because I love answering etiquette questions. Any etiquette, etiquette questions? Stella, you're very welcome. My pleasure. I saw someone, I'm going through the messages. Kay, you're welcome. It is my pleasure. Um, Don from Illinois. Hello, 45 minutes from Chicago and 45 minutes before Milwaukee. All right, awesome. Adonikan, you can relate. Yes, uh, Cassandra, understand. Yes, you all are so awesome. So please go ahead and click. Let me know if you have any etiquette questions, any concerns, anything you've always thought about and you just want an answer to. Wonderful message. I'm inspired. Thank you, Fiona. Thank you. Uh, anything you've ever wanted to talk about? Yeah, we talked about um, the way you're perceived in public. That is a huge, huge aspect. But it doesn't matter how simple it is. It's very important for us to know the answers to our questions when it comes to conducting ourselves in public. So if you have a question, don't be shy to... Um, to ask all right so uh, I don't see any questions maybe for some reason they're not showing Tanja will you do a book on corporate church or work etiquette for example that's an interesting topic Tanja you just never know that's an interesting interesting topic however in this book we do talk some about corporate we talk about networking etiquette we talk about greeting and communicating effectively oh my goodness we talk about redundancies we talking about using words in the right context how to greet individuals how to greet couples how, oh my gosh this book when I actually read this book to proof it, I'm like, did you actually write this book? Oh my goodness. All right. So yes, get the book. Uh, Cassandra, is a tablecloth necessary if you have a table runner? Good question. So we don't want to double up. Okay. It's like, I don't know if you've ever seen someone dress a cute little girl. She's wearing socks and she's wearing stockings. Nope, it should be either or, socks or stockings, okay? So when you have that runner, the runner is a great accent, of course, with your centerpiece, and then you want to place some charger, some, um, either you would use a tablecloth or a runner, and if for the other placements, you can have, for the other placements, you can have a placement mat, okay? But you don't put a runner over a tablecloth. That's like overkill. So we don't want to do that. Now, some people are just big on decorating and just like to stack things. That's, you know, they can have at it. But you never want to double up. Simple is always best. And try always to have chargers because that accentuates your table. Okay? I hope that answered your question. Uh, Cassandra and you definitely never use tablecloth and uh, placement mats no never I see people doing that but uh, mm -mm, it's either or okay all right Raquetta I thank God for my aunt who is big on etiquette she stressed that in me at a young age yes love it I love those aunts and uncles yes uncles because our guys definitely are part of this aunts and uncles um, Mary, really, you have a book available. I am interested in buying the book. Yes, Mary, check the chat. I just placed the um, website for you to head over there, and um, and I'm going to do it again. Head over there and purchase the book. It's our new book, and it's called Transformative Etiquette, A Guide to Love and Refining Self. Ara, can you use brooch and necklace? At the same time, oh yeah, absolutely. But you don't want to overkill. You don't want like a really um, bulgy necklace with all kinds of stuff on it and then a brooch with all kinds of stuff. That's just too much. So modesty, simplicity is always more elegant than overkill of anything, okay? Simple is good, ladies and gents. Simple is good. Don't overkill. All right? Um... Okay, any other questions? All right. 
All right, can you use brunch? Okay, got it. So ladies and gentlemen, click on that link. Thank you so much for joining me. It's been a phenomenal road on this journey of improvement, this movement of improvement. Thank you for being a part of it. Please share, share, share this video. Before I end this video, please press share. Press share at the bottom so that others could learn all about this good stuff that we taught, that we discussed today. Press share. Thank you so much. I want to see who's sharing. Please share. Press share, share, share. Ah, oh, I'm late. Ah. Oh. Well, you know, this the great thing about this sister is that it's a recording. So you can listen to it as soon as we end. But uh, we thank you so much. Where are you coming from, sister? Let us know where you are. Chris, share it. Thank you, Chris. Let me know if you shared it, ladies and gentlemen. Type shared so we'll know that this word is spread. It's all over. We need people to be more refined and care about themselves. Sister, where are you located? Doris, where are you located? Do you have a WhatsApp group? Oh, I have so many followers. There's no way I can have a WhatsApp group with everybody. Akisha, thank you. Tanja, thank you. Fiona, thank you. Ah, oh, sister, you're in the UK. Yes. I'm working with someone to head to the UK to do some etiquette workshops. So I'll keep you posted. Karen, yes. Shared. Neo, shared. Faith, shared. Thank you all so much. Please continue to share. And continue to encourage this generation. Ladies and gentlemen, we must become an example for these children. We must lead them. Somewhere along the line, we dropped the, ba dropped the baton. We dropped the ball. It's time for us to pick it back up. It's time for us to show these young people how they're supposed to be. We, we need to even show them how to dress going on interviews. I've seen, I've witnessed people going on interviews in jeans and t-shirt. Come on now. So let's step into our position as leaders for this generation. They need us. I encourage you to be the best version of you. I encourage you to love yourself. I encourage you to respect yourself. I encourage you to pay attention to the message your outer appearance sends. And I encourage you to grab a hold of those opportunities and take the time tonight to begin to ask God, what is my purpose so you can live your purpose. I wish you the absolute best. Uh, when my books come and it's time to ship them out, I hope I'll be shipping to you. I'm going to come back on live and let you all know it's here. And I hope I'll be shipping that book to you. Transformative Etiquette, A Guide to Love and Refining Self. Have a, head over to our website and purchase your book. God bless you all. If you post any questions after we uh, end this live, I will definitely respond to them. God bless you. Stay safe and be encouraged. Bye.